Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geeky Gator channel and today I have a very special review for you for one of my favorite films of this past year. It is The Father, directed by Florian Zeller, starring Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman. The film follows a man, Anthony, played by Anthony Hopkins, as he refuses all assistance from his daughter, played by Olivia Coleman, as he ages. As he tries to make sense of his changing circumstances, he begins to doubt his loved ones, his own mind, and even the fabric of his reality. Okay, so starting it off here, writer-director Florian Zeller. He tells this movie from the um, eyes of Anthony Hopkins' character, as all the other characters and people around him and the locations and pretty much everything around him shifts and changes, um, and it confuses us as the audience too. So we are as equally confused and bewildered as he is throughout this whole movie really until the end which just makes it a very unique and um just different experience and nothing like nothing i've ever really seen any time recently it is meticulously crafted like the production design everything so much attention is paid to like the littlest of details that um when you're done with it on the first few you're gonna want to go back and rewatch it again and again, just because so many little details that you miss that will make more sense on the second viewing, it's, it's very well done in that aspect. Anthony here often thinks he's being gaslighted by the people around him as one moment his daughter is present being played by Olivia Coleman, and the next moment she walks into the room again and she's played by a completely different actress who is still pretending and obviously still his daughter, but it's a completely different actress. and. Um, and then like there are, there are scenes where Hopkins will walk into a scene, like a dinner scene per se, and um, he'll realize that he has already experienced the scene and we as the audience have already experienced the scene and you don't even realize it until it happens. It's hard to explain, but when you reach that scene in the movie, at least for me, I was like, whoa, this is so well thought out. Um, it's very, very well done. I keep, feel like I keep saying that, but it's well, well done. Um, even little details on um, small changes like the set, certain objects like pictures and other things that just in the background, maybe they won't even draw that much attention to it, will change and make you so confused that you're just like right there with them. You're trying to like piece together all of these little bits of information that are so contradictory to each other and just don't make sense and you are right there with him remaining wary and unsure all the way until the final scene of this movie where all of these little puzzle pieces and everything is put together and you realize why everything was happening like where these specific people are coming from like everything just comes together and makes sense and you realize how it's all connected and you understand it and right as you understand it you have to sit here and watch anthony hopkins as he tragically still does not and you still after having gone through this whole journey with him, you um, you still sit there and watch him as he is just as confused and desperate for explanation. And really, this is what makes the end scene so powerful. We know exactly how he feels because we just went through this whole experience with him and we were just confused with him and we know all of this. And now we have escaped all of the confusion and we just have to sit here and watch him as he's still stuck in it. And it's, it's, it's a rough final scene, but it is powerful, powerful, powerful. Anthony Hopkins. Ooh, we'll get to it later. But Anthony Hopkins, this is his best performance yet. I don't care. He's amazing in Silence of the Lambs. I know he won an Oscar for it. He totally deserved it. This is like even above that. This is next level stuff, but we're gonna get to that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. The way that this film is shot and edited is truly masterful. I mean, it's honestly probably some of the best editing I've seen this year, if not the best. I mean, certain scenes with how they're pieced together and more connected than you could have ever even realized before and how it slowly reveals all this information. A lot of that is in thanks to the editor and I think in the hands of a different editor who doesn't know how to piece this all properly together. It could have been just a confusing and boring movie, but it is absolutely not. And it's such a simple, simple subject and plot. And there's not even much of a plot at all, really, because it's confusing as to what's actually been happening. But it's so riveting still anyway. 
and speaking of the way the movie is shot, it's 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 so creative the way that it is shot. It honestly, at many moments, feels almost like a horror or a thriller, when in reality, it is it's a family drama. I mean, it's really a genius way to show um, the mind of how it's like to be someone with dementia, um, and how every day is filled with like these sudden shocks and like surprises and how it just must be impossible to like let someone else understand how you truly feel. No one else can understand really what you're actually going through and experiencing other than yourself. It's this like lonely, crazy, like not fun experience. And the way it is portrayed, like the way it's shot in certain scenes reminded me of horror films. And it's, it's, it's very, very well done. Okay, so now getting to what is really the center, the main course of this amazing movie is Anthony Hopkins' performance. I was talking about it before, but it is the best performance of his career, in my opinion. I mean, others may not agree, but it is so good. I'm shaking my computer with how good it is. Um, I mean, you can tr you truly believe that he's losing his mind and memory. He's like running a whole gamut of emotions here. He's he's egotistical, he's senile, he's loving, he's like infuriating. And he does all of these different emotions at the same time, like all at once. And it's not like he's he's doing all of them a service too. Like he's not just going through the motions with them. He properly um, examines each of the different emotions he has in each scene. And he's all over the place here. Like in one scene, he's like this happy guy talking about tap dancing and stuff, almost like putting on a show. And then the next scene, he's like, it's like scary with how judgmental and harsh he is towards um, Olivia Coleman's character. As someone whose grandfather had dementia and was slowly losing his mind and memory, Hopkins' portrayal here is a scarily accurate um, portrayal of the different attitudes and behaviors of someone who has dementia. Um, it honestly felt like at moments I was watching my grandpa when I visited him in the hospital when he was experiencing and going through dementia. And it's it, obviously Anthony Hopkins doesn't have dementia and he just, he does so well, so well with it. For an actor his age, he is still at peak performance. His final scene here is the most vulnerable we have seen him as an actor before. I mean, it is a it's a heartbreaking and like really, really sad um, final scene for him. I'm not gonna spoil it, but um, the performance he gives in that scene, at the end, it's um, it, it's an Oscar clip right there. That's what you play um, during the Oscars uh, to show off his performance. And um, I think I already said earlier, but it's, it's my favorite performance of all of 2020 so far. Riz Ahmed, you are up there. I still love you so much in your performance in Sound of Metal is amazing. And I didn't think anyone would be able to top that, but here comes Anthony Hopkins and he he topped it. He did he did great. Another standout performance here is Olivia Coleman, who's quickly becoming one of my favorite actresses with how consistently amazing and incredible she is with every performance she gives and just how likable she is like as a person outside of um outside of the movies she's in she isn't in this one as much as you may think because as i mentioned earlier and as you've seen in the trailers i believe i thankfully i didn't watch any of the trailers so um i suggest maybe don't watch the trailer before watching this movie um but yeah she isn't in as much as you think because you do have different actresses coming in and replacing her but for the scenes she is in, she like perfectly and masterfully displays the inner struggle of wanting to help a loved one and a person who you know is going through this, um, but also how frustrating it can be at times dealing with someone who has dementia and how like irritating and eroding it can get at you when you have to deal with it on the daily. She's a very warm character in the film and her presence is actually comforting whenever she's on screen because she feels like the one for sure connection that you have with the actual reality that isn't changing. So when she's on screen, you almost feel like, okay, like this is legit, this is what's happening. But of course, at many moments, it is not. And there's one scene in particular where she's 
reacting to a lot of things that um, Anthony Hopkins is saying about her. Um, and the, like the camera stays on her for a lot of it and it lingers on her reaction. And it's like, it's such a heartbreaking, like a lot of heartbreaking in here. It's, it's a, um, it, yeah, it is heartbreaking. It's, it's, she, she like says so much with just her face on that one scene and how she's reacting to all of these different words he's saying about her. Now she knows he probably doesn't really mean it, but like, it still really hurts to hear. Um, yes, so Olivia Coleman amazing as always. Anthony Hopkins, amazing as always. Those are really the two main performances in here. You have other actors coming in and out, um, a lot of switching up, but those are the two main performances in here, and they are, wow, wow, both honestly Oscar win worthy. Um, I don't think either will win, sadly, but um, since they both already won, but um, wow, wow, some of the best acting I've seen ever. Like, this is marriage story level stuff. Like, wow. I would go into details about um, like specific scenes and like where Hopkins like blew me away with his performance or where Coleman blew me away with her performance. But then I'd like kind of be doing like a summary of the movie pretty much because they're every single scene in here and the performance in every single scene um, just knocks it out of the park. I mean, I can't think of any flaws with this movie. I mean, I'm saying I mean a lot. Um, I just, I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't find any flaws in it. Please check it out when it comes um, to theaters later in February, I think, and VOD in March, I believe. I know um, it having this later release right now um, for awards season, I don't, it seems to be a wishy-washy um, in terms of the results that they're getting for the, these awards shows, but I really hope, and I, I definitely both of these performance, I think, will definitely get nominated. I hope Hopkins wins, honestly, just because he's so good, and who knows if we'll ever be able to honor such an amazing actor again. I mean, he is, he's not a one Oscar kind of actor. He deserves at least two. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely check this movie out. It's amazing. It gets a 100% for me. I loved The Father. So, if you guys like this review and you want to see more of these kinds of reviews or really anything movie related, especially right now, um, Oscars and awards season related, we've got a lot of Oscar film forecast going on and predictions and reactions and all that. So please like this video, subscribe if you want to get some more of that stuff. And uh, that is it for now. Thank you.